Do you suffer from Edema's Syndrome? In 2 Timothy 4.10, the Apostle Paul instructs Timothy that Demas, a fellow believer and soldier of Christ, has forsaken him and the work of Christ and even has left town. Then he explains the reason why. Here's what he said. Demas loves the things of this world so much that he left me and went to Thessalonica. Oh, what grief Paul must have felt. Now, I don't know very much about Demas, but I do know that Paul believed that Demas loved Jesus, loved the gospel, and would continue in the faith until God called him home. But Demas allowed someone or something to come between him and the Lord, revealing that what he had professed for so long was only a profession. Perhaps Demas had a common, ordinary job and was promoted to a position of authority, which made his association with the despised gospel and apostles embarrassing to him. Or perhaps Demas was a widower who met a certain unbelieving, attractive woman as she turned his foolish heart from the church and the gospel. Or perhaps Demas came into a great inheritance and his new lifestyle did not fit the humble lifestyle of the apostles. Or perhaps Demas was a young, handsome man who despised the single life and was determined to marry his choice over the protest of the Apostle Paul. Or perhaps Demas had just never stopped loving Demas, and his claims to Christ were only a part of his effort to promote himself. Beloved, we are all one decision away from walking away from the Lord. 2 Peter 1.5 tells us to give all diligence, or better translated, give maximum effort to live for Jesus. Are you totally dedicated to the Lord, or do you flirt with the Demas Syndrome? If so, repent right now, surrender your heart to Jesus, His Word, His ways, His will, His work, and His worship. Say no to the Demas Syndrome, and say yes to giving maximum effort to keep on keeping on living for Jesus. This is Lane Wilder for Carry the Light Ministries, bringing you insights from an elder.